If your head got a glitch, you're probably in a bit of trouble. What's poppin' power, director peeps? It's Saturday. And today, I'm gonna show you how to do the TV head glitch effect using Power Director 18 and Power Director 365. If you're new to my channel and you wanna learn how to use Power Director, click the subscribe button and click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. Here we are in Power Director. The TV head glitch effect uses the Boris Continuum plugin to add a cool glitch and some color aberration to your videos to make them look all fancy like. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make the TV head glitch effect for your videos. I'm starting to feel a little glitchy. First thing that you wanna do is drag your footage that you wanna use down into track one. And you need two copies of this, so we're going to do control C to copy it. Then we're going to click on track two and we're going to do control V to paste it. Now we wanna move this over for now so that we can see what's going on on the clip on track one, cause I got a few things to show you. You wanna left click on this clip and you wanna make it black and white by removing all of the saturation. So you wanna go to fix enhance. You wanna go to color adjustment. And then you wanna to go to saturation and you wanna drag that all the way down to zero. Now the image looks black and white. So we're gonna close this out. And the next thing that we need to do is add the glitch effect to the black and white clip. So we're going to go to the effects room and you might show up on one of these different uh, effects here, but we need to get to Boris effect stylize. And once you're here, then you wanna go ahead and find the clip that's called Video Glitch. Go ahead and left click on it and drag it down on top of the clip that's in track one. And you have the Video Glitch now applied to this. So if you play it back, you see it's all glitchy. All right. So now we need to go ahead and add the color aberration to the overlay clip. So let's go ahead and move this clip back over here to the left. And now we're already in the right plugin, so all we need to do is find the one that's called misalignment. You wanna left click on that and drag it down and it will add the color aberration or the RGB effect to this clip. So now if you play this, you'll be able to see the color aberration. You won't be able to see the glitch because it's on the clip above it. So let's go ahead and bring the TV set and put that into place and then we'll go ahead and move the color aberration and then you'll see the glitch and everything all at once. So let's go back to our media room and I have the television that I wanna use here. This is a PNG image, which means that anything that's black that you see in the preview screen is see-through. So I'm gonna left click on it, hold it down and I'm gonna drag it down to track three and then I'm gonna place my cursor at the end until I see an arrow or two arrows pointed in opposite directions. Hold down my left mouse. I'm gonna drag this out to make it the same length as the video clips above it. So the picture's too big, we need to size it down. You can go ahead and size it down right here in the video player if you want and move it wherever you want. But I'm gonna go ahead and use the PIP designer. So I'm going to double click on the clip of the TV and I already know the parameters that I wanna use for this. So for scale, I'm just gonna go ahead and type in what I want and hit enter. And I'm gonna do the same thing for position and hit enter. And then also for the Y position. And like I stated before, you can use the nodes and drag it and resize it and all that stuff. I already knew what I wanted to do, so I just put it where I wanted it, okay? It's my video. So now that I'm done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and click on okay. And now we wanna move the color aberration or the RGB effect to only be where the TV is. So I'm gonna left click on the clip with the color aberration on it. I'm gonna go to designer. I'm gonna go to mask designer. I'm gonna scroll down to choose the effect with the rectangle that has the feathered edges. I'm gonna left click on it. 
and you see that it removed everything on the inside and all the RGB effect is around the outside. So I want to change that. So I'm going to click on invert mask to keep all of the RGB inside of the mask. So that's a lot better there. And then I need to go ahead and resize it and place it right where the TV is. So once again, you can use your nodes to move this how you need to move it, get it into position, all that good stuff, move it over. I already know exactly where I want to put it. So I'm going to go ahead and change my settings here. Uh, the first thing that I want to do before I change those settings is I need to uncheck maintain aspect ratio so that I can move the width and the height independently of one another. And then I'll change those settings. And once you get everything set up how you want it, go ahead and click on OK. And click on play. Oh, we all glitchy up in her. If you like what you see, I'll leave some links to buy Power Director in the video description. I know you want more Power Director love, so be sure to click on these videos to watch more of my content and smash my cartoon face to subscribe. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below.